What up? What up? What's up? I still laugh from my Always. <laughs> Welcome back to another lit episode of Loquacious. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl Moody. And happy Friday. Yes. Sir. I've been calling you every day to the complain, right? Yeah. I'm so happy it's Friday. It's Friday. Shout out to the freaking weekend. Yes. What you drinking? What you drinking? What you drinking? Oh, I'm ratchet. Cheers. Yeah, classy. Let me get my pinky. It's so little, right? That's a man I, cup. I, She's yo, a I, man. I need some nails on to make my fingers She's look longer. She's a man, longer. yeah. Okay, I'm excited. I got a topic that was trending to talk about. Trend on, baby. It was trending. And um, let me tell y'all who it was trending about so that we could get to the nitty gritty. Jesse Nelson. Which is like one of the members from um, Little Mix, which is like this British singing group. And her and Nicki Minaj came out with a song called Bad Boys. And um, Nicki was a feature and Nicki went live and people were like, Jesse was black fishing. So that's mm -hmm. our topic today, black fishing. Um, for those who don't know what black fishing is, it is cultural appropriation. So it's like, you not being an African-American person, but behaving and portraying and the, the behaviors of an African-American person. The looks, so the behaviors. you got curly hair or rougher hair than what a- Or the cornrows and the long Or the box braids or the tan skin or the bigger lips and the big butt and the, you know, the things that originated from the, my sisters in no. the African American Jay, community, yeah. and now is being portrayed by by other races. Um, what you think about black fishing? You know, it's hard because you know, being from the hood, there was always different cultural ethnicities um, in our atmosphere. We had whites, we had Spanish, Afro Latinos. Um, even though, you know, those are, you know, black people, but, you know, so some people don't be acting like they're black. But, um, <laughs> it never really bothered me um, if they looked like us or wore our clothes or, you know, had their hair. They, some of them look dumb, but, you know, <laughs> who am I to say they're that? Dumb, but, dumb, 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 dumb. But I always, it's always a fine line to what you say. I don't care because I don't care if you was raised with me. I was in the Popeyes, not to cut you off, but mm -hmm. what you say just triggered the thought. And um, the guy was like, oh, you could say the N-word talking to his Indian manager. And I was looking at him like, damn, son, they done brainwashed the brakes off of you. But anyway, go back to what you were saying. And like, I, you know, we, we have gotten so accustomed to saying the N-word to each other as in damn it or whatever. Um, which it, we gotta get out of that bad habit, I think so. But, um, you know, when you're accustomed to things, things, it's kind of hard, you know? But if a black person was like best friends from childhood with a white person or any other person that's non-black, and you said it, I instantly feel some type of way. And I don't, you know, it's just, I feel like it's wrong. You shouldn't be jacking the words that we use because you ain't black. What you think? So for me personally, I feel honored that other races be trying to be like us. Because we've, done, we've been setting trends since slavery days. Remember the dresses that the white women used to wear with that big hump thing in the back to make it appear as if they had a fatty? Right, yeah. We've been setting trends for years. So for me, it's an honor. Look, if you want to be like this, this brown skin, this curly hair, mm -hmm. well, this ain't my hair, but you know, this brown <laughs> skin, this curly hair, this cur curvaceous shape, if you will, if I inspire you, sis, and bros, <laughs> Go ahead, nah, by all means. I don't like it because, because they won't let you into their world. No, but you know what's funny? Because I've worn blonde hair. 
And that's only a trait of a look at you and, like, yeah. And I've worn contacts in my eyes, I and I've and and I straighten my hair for it to be straighter. So is it safe to say that I'm trying to be white? And my, they might think that, True. but at the end of the day, I know that this is not something that I'm striving to be. I'm not bleaching my skin. I'm not carrying on. This is how I like to look, as ethnic as I can. And I'm not ashamed of nothing that I have. I don't, my wide nose, my dark skin, my big butt. Like, I'm all good with it because these things is what people are dying to be. So, it doesn't make me feel no way. Shout out to everybody who's not black that want to be black. More power to you. Nice. Never get out of line, Just though. be yourself, though, because... They don't want to be themselves. Um, you might get hurt being black. <laughs> yeah, y'all want to be they black. They want to be black until... There you go. Or try to fight for the real black yeah, people yeah. to get what they got. Don't be that person that want to be black but don't help black people get to a higher level in life. You yeah, know I, I definitely mean? second that. Like, if you're going to be black, be black all the way. Be with us. Be with us. You're never going to understand our struggles. I think me, I was having this conversation this morning actually with somebody. We grew up with a um, a person that was of a white, um, white background. And um, I was just saying, like, you know, the person is not black, no matter if you grew up in the hood. You know, you're not black. Yeah. And I, and I think I, it was me. Was it me? It was um, Digger. Oh, okay. It was Rochelle. Shout out to you, Digger. Yeah. And um, I was like, you know, no matter how long you lived in the hood, you never going to be black. No. Nope. And I get it. This and is we all love you know. for you. Definitely. Yeah, and this is all you know. But, you know. And you can, some can relate to our struggle. Right, because they a poverty yeah, 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 situation, yeah. but never the actual factual. You of can't being go black. somewhere because you're black or you fear right. for your life because, because you're, you're black. Right. Cause hanging out with me and I'm black and I get pulled over, they still gonna bother us, and they gonna be like, "Oh, shut your mouth" to the other person. So you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, so it's definitely. Um, I, I don't. I, I don't have a problem with it. This, shout out to all my white people that F with me the long way because I got mad white friends that I love and they don't try to be black. Yeah, They, they just, just be their natural white and selves. And I, I like. yeah, I appreciate that. That's what I like. Because I need you to be like, yeah, radical and stuff like that. It and makes I, my day. <laughs> and I don't care if you get your hair. I honestly don't care if you get in the cornrows, the locks and all the good stuff like us. I don't care about yeah, that. I, yeah, me neither. Because you look Dumb when you do Be it. <laughs> for us if you really for us. And that really really goes to our next topic. Ooh, dating outside your race, mm -hmm. religion. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh dating baby. outside your race and religion, guys. What do you think about that? Like talk to us. Like for real. We definitely want y'all to talk to us. Like we're gonna switch it up a little bit today. Yeah, like yeah, 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 we yeah. really want to know y'all opinions. And shout out to everybody that write under our um, yes, topics. we love y'all. We love y'all for real, for real. Like, it's, like, dope. But this today we're going to do a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna remix it a little bit. So, we got some um, we got some callers. Because a lot of times, a lot of people say, oh, but I wanted to comment. But just so you guys know, Loquacia TV is pre-recorded. We don't record live until we go live. And we only go live on Facebook. So, you got to remember that. Keep that in the back of your mind. But before we get to our callers, we're going to give our own opinions because yeah. I think that it's important that we give a little background to how it right. is that we feel about it. <laughs> um, You want to go? Nah, go ahead. So, I ha all right, I'm 35 years old and I don't think, I think I've dated outside my race. I'm not even going to say I dated. I think I talked to somebody that wasn't black one time for like a week. And he was Spanish, and he was damn near black. So, yeah. <laughs> it was like, um, I'm not, I can't, because I haven't, I can't say that I would never, but I just never have. Um, it's things about me that I feel like only a black king can, like, truly grasp and understand. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> Could truly grasp and understand, and I don't have anything against anybody. I'm not racist by far. I love everybody, but but how I am, I know that I can. When I got an attitude and my neck start rolling and I start popping junk, I know that a, a person of another ethnicity might not get that. They might just be like, why are you so angry? And I'm not even angry. 
Sometimes I just talk like that when I'm telling the story, but they wouldn't get that. But see, my brother will understand where I'm coming from. He like, oh, where are they? And what else happened? And I'm like, yeah, because she was like, and then I was First like. Of all, her man going to be like, why is you snapping your neck like that? Yeah. Stop that. <laughs> But you, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, no. there's certain things that we go through that just people just want to understand. So, at the end of the day, I, I want to stay home where I'm accepted um, unapologetically. Like, nobody's looking at me and when they're mad calling me a black bee. Or families got their face all turned up when I come in for Thanksgiving. Like, where you found this? Great grandma. And that. You Nothing know what I'm saying? So, life. right. So, at the end of the day, I, 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 I'm choosing to stick with my own kind because I feel like they appreciate me. And furthermore, they need, we need them and they need us. Absolutely. Because I only a black woman could strengthen her black king. That's how I feel. I don't feel like another race could do that. So, you know. You know, to each his own. Um, I... Personally, has never dated out my own. <laughs> I have never ever dated out my ethnicity. I, I love everybody I've come into contact with. Um, I can, I've met some cool, dope people that's outside my race, but just Spanish, white, it don't matter. I just never in, in my Tracking life. To them? Who was attracted to them except for Jason from um, Jennifer Hospital. <laughs> that she used to dream about every night. She used to call me like, oh, I ain't had a dream about Jason. I'm like, I was like, I was like, that. You remember coming home at 3 o'clock nah. in the afternoon? Every day she had a dream about Yo, Jason. Jason was the. And he's been the same Jason for uh, some quite some time now. Yeah, you know they, tried to, they tried to change him one they time and he came right back. Uh, yeah. I, I had to watch that in years, though. But, but other than that, I haven't, I, I just haven't, I think in high school, I gave a Spanish boy my number. You did? And he was mad crazy. <laughs> <laughs> For real? For real? He was mad crazy. I was like, oh Not no. Don't, don't poppy be no. a little, esta loca. And that nigga was like, come to my house, B. I was like, oh, what? He said the word? Yeah, like that's how he was talking. I was like, nah, no, I'm good. Oh, yeah, he was mad crazy. Yeah, he was mad crazy. Yeah. But um, I've never really, um, yeah, I've never dated out my, but I do have other ethnicities in my family. You see the freckles. Yeah, I mean, um, it's so. And I have little cousins that are biracial and they're so beautiful. Um, it's nothing wrong with it's it. It's nothing wrong. It's just with your it. preference. Um, I, I I think they're beautiful. Um, my cousin, he's black. His wife is um white. Um, a couple of people, just they made beautiful babies. They're happy. They take care of each other. I'm pretty sure they're good. I I met even some of the family of the other person mm -hmm. and they were cool down to earth and i like that turn up party i like that really fun so you know to each his own i just particularly would always stay in my race and i have married a black king king oh okay. shout out to you boo hey um, bro we gonna get some we gonna get a caller on the line mellow yes. yes 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 so we are calling right now. Hassan from New York. Um, it's busy. Who is it? So we're gonna. Good. So we're gonna call. Um. TT from North Carolina. TT from North Carolina. Let's hear what she got get to say. Get her opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameras be good. So. Hello. Hey, T T. Hey, T. Hey. How are you? I'm good. It's Nelly and Moody from Loquacious TV. Well, we just were chatting about two things. We were doing black fishing and we were doing dating outside your race. So we explained what black fishing was to the viewers, which is, you know, uh, culture appropriation. 
So what's your uh, opinion about uh, black fishing? Oh, that's a no-no. Like, <laughs> I'm coming at you. If, you, if I ever, if I ever see anybody, and I live in the South, so if I come across the, oh, best believe you're getting checked. <laughs> <laughs> but what will make you check them? Like, what is it that would be like a check situation? Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely something to get checked on. That's a yeah. fact. Yeah. I'm going off. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> certain things I'm not a sensitive person, so certain things I'll let slide. But some things I'm like, uh, uh-uh, not happening. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I get that, and definitely. Like, and I dig that, and I definitely think I'm with you, especially in the south. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you Harriet Tubman? It was a costume this year. Like they had it on at Party City. Like it was a costume. Oh my god. Oh, I ain't see so that. crazy guys. Like, I oh ain't god. see that. Oh. Mm-mm. And what you think about dating outside your race or religion? Um, I don't, I don't mind outside my race. That's not a problem. If we're compatible, we're compatible. That's, you know, not a thing for me. Now, outside of religion, I wouldn't do it. Because just there's just too many obstacles. I, I agree with you, I agree. T. I agree with you. Like how- Some people say, oh, there's only one guy. But if you're Muslim and I'm Christian, we don't have the same beliefs. Whether it's yeah. one God or ten gods, we still don't have the same belief. So for me, we would have to be the same religion. Absolutely, yeah. I agree. Definitely, because I mean, even down to how you raise your kids. Exactly. It will, it will come into play. So that would definitely be a major issue. And it's not because, oh, you don't love a person. You might love somebody from a different religion, but yeah. you have to think about that long run and that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I told someone that as well. I said, a person that's Muslim would never marry a Christian behind. So don't even think about that. They do. They're not living right. You got to convert. No, they would never marry you. A real Muslim would never Never even consider a Christian woman. No. That's true. Well, you're going to have to convert before you even consider it. So, yeah, definitely. No, it's too many obstacles. Unless you're willing to go convert, just... I love you, but I gotta let you go. <laughs> Thank you, Titi, nice. for your opinion. We appreciate you, boo. All right, love Thanks you. Thanks so much. All right, Thank we you. love, love you, too. You. Thank Thank you don't for forget watching. to watch. Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> so, that, yeah, so on religion, yeah, for me, I'm definitely, you have to be, we have to have the same beliefs. Absolutely. I don't want to. I don't even, I don't even negotiate that at all. Yeah, and, and I've heard people say, oh, there's only one God. Okay. I said, but it depends on who you asking. I was just talking about a time when I was talking to somebody and they said that they were God or whatever and stuff like that. And um And they definitely shout out to whoever that was. Um but you know if we don't believe in the same religion, like it would never work because I can't sit in somebody um presence all day and they telling me what they believe and what I should not do because their God or whatever they believe in says no and then I'm saying yay or nay like it's just it's just too much confusion the unequally yoked thing it just won't work the righteous and the price and the unrighteous cannot sit amongst each other <laughs> so it's safe to say that within my religion is where is the furthest I'm going mm-hmm. and then my race is where I'm gonna stick it's okay if you want to be me. It's okay if you want a black fish. I don't got nothing against you. And it's okay if you do want to date outside your race. Just be true to who you are. Yeah, you can date outside your Both race. Sides. But for me, it's a no. There's nothing wrong with the other with uh, with dating outside your Wait, race. Wait, even though this is a little bit off of the topic, but it's not. It's I want to know, for those who are single parents raising biracial kids Ooh. how does that work i want to know y'all like if anybody knows somebody i know a lot of people like that yeah a lot of spanish women raising black little kids yeah, yeah. i don't know i want to know, I know a lot of women like that because i was watching something online and a, a white lady she was um she had a black child or whatever and people were getting bad yeah, getting on her yeah. Because i think i thought it was on tiktok her, her, i could be yeah 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 could i've be. seen that too um Doing her child's hair, and she was like, "You know what? I'm gonna watch all the tutorials 
to get yeah. it right because that and you know but like your kids yeah. Yeah. like your kids and keep trying and do learn, the best that you can yeah learn their ethnicity yeah and learn them proud but if you, you anybody that's raising kid a, a different ethnicity of themselves let us know what you think too. yeah i want to know too please if you got some mixed kids school less school let me know yeah, just to me products work great i'm telling you like the, the put in and the um, grease <laughs> yeah, and yeah i live with that remember that i comb that joint out Ooh, like child. comb it out child comb it out but yeah black fishing if you love it i like it listen if I like black it, fish, you, love it, you only make us look better than what we are because you want to you want to be you're you're striving to be like us that's a compliment if i'm able to inspire you you want curves boo make me look like her when you say make me look like her i know y'all ain't showing pictures of kim kardashian <laughs> oh but anyway especially that one before, before you know then. what this has oh. been Another lit episode of <laughs> They call me Nelly. And this your girl, Molly. And we love you. I love you. Stay safe. Bye.